Welcome to Bitcoin Lifestyle, the show where we talk about Bitcoin lifestyle platforms that you can use to incorporate Bitcoin into your daily life. My name is Mary, and today we'll be looking at Ellen Cow. With Ellen Cow, you can share the link to your public calendar and people can schedule you and pay you in Bitcoin. It works like any calendar scheduling tool, but this time when people want to book a call with you or a meeting with you, they have to pay you in Bitcoin first in order to secure that call. I think it's really great for people who have meetings that you feel you need to be given some sort of compensation for the call. I think it's also really great for those who are coaches or people who hop on calls to give advice. So it's definitely a platform worth looking at if you fall under one of those categories. Now think of it this way. Someone wants to book a call with you. You feel that that call is actually a valuable call and it deserves to be paid for. Then you can easily send them your Ellen Cal link and then the person who wants to book a call with you can pick the date, the time that you'll be available. And then before they book the call, they have to pay a certain sum in Bitcoin, which you set. And after they've paid that amount of um, Satoshis, then the meeting gets set in your calendar. So Ellen Cal is really easy to set up. It only takes a couple of minutes for you to create an account. You can then further customize it to suit your specific needs. And you can also set which days you are open and available for any calls. And you can also set the times you are open to um, have meetings as well. So let's have a look at Ellen Cal and see how it works. All right, so this is the Ellen Cal website. This is how it looks like. Um, I've already logged in. That's why this part says um, go to dashboard. But if you ha don't have an account on Ellen Cal yet, um, you will have to click on the get started um, button. And then that'll take you to a place where you can register on Ellen Cal. So you can also get to see a live demo. So they have their own calendar set up so you can click on it and see how it works. Um, then they have um, the people who have used Ellen Cal here um, tells you that um, the bookings are paid in Bitcoin. Anyone with your public link can book your time in the time frame of your choice, and you can pay directly in Bitcoin without registration and in a matter of seconds. And this is how your Ellen Cal calendar looks like. So let us um, quickly scroll to the top here and have a look at what the dashboard's like. Like I said, I've already logged into my Ellen Cal. So this is what the dashboard looks like. This is my Ellen Cal link that I can send to somebody who wants to book a call with me that I want them to pay in sats for. Um, that, this is my username, Ellen Cal, and this is where you have a um, summary of the recent bookings. So I tried this out and you can see here the length of time, the person who booked it, um, the amount and the value and sats, the, the, the status, whether it's settled or not, and then also the date and time for the call, which is really cool. Um, if you come to this drop down here, you get a chance to um, adjust the settings. So I'm going to check out profile later, but let's have a look at settings real quick. So if you go to settings, you get to see um, ways you can customize your Ellen Cal. One of the things is that you can set um, how you want the um, value to be denominated, whether you want it denominated in SATs or in USD, I chose USD because I felt like it's a lot. Um, even though I get the payment in Satoshis, I felt it was a lot easier to interpret for anybody who gets to come across my Ellen Cal link. Then I set the rate per hour. So I just put one for $1 right here. And it says this will be converted in SATs at the time of payment. Then I also have 
the booking length. So I chose one hour. You have different options here, five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, and so on. Then you also have a part, part where they, you can write a message to the client or whoever books your call. And so this will appear in your public calendar page under the main header. We'll get to see the public calendar page in a couple of minutes so you get to see what it looks like. Um, and here is where I set my availability. So you have these the dates um, toggled on. I toggled Saturday and Sunday off. Then you can set the time frame when people are allowed to book you. And then you can always like delete or like you can add another date if you want to. So if I press this um, plus, you, I can add another date or time that would suit me on Monday. And then you can use this um, button here to delete it if you don't need it any changes you just need to click on save then there's these additional toggles right here so it says add up to six toggles with the ability to charge for each one if active they'll become visible in your public calendar page drag and drop for sorting the order so let's say for example you want to maybe add an additional thing so plus let's say you someone wants to book you for a call and then as an additional, you can say you can get a call and a recording of that call. So they can toggle it on. So if I delete this and write um, rec um, plus rec or something like um, recording included. And then um, you can also change this. So um, take this if you want the recording. And then you can also set the amount that um, you want to charge for this. So I can leave it at $50. And I, all I need to do is just turn this on and it will show on my Ellen Cal page. So I'm gonna click it, save here. You're allowed to add up to six of those toggles, but I'm just gonna add one. Now I'm gonna go here and then I'm gonna go back to my profile. So in the profile, you can put in your picture if you want to, then your username. Um, this is my public um, page on Ellen Cal. We're gonna check in in a minute. Then the email, the time zone, and then you can also add your Nostra public key right here as well and your Twitter username. So let me click on this link so you get to see what it looks like. So this is my Ellen Cal page. As you can see here to see um, my username, that's my profile picture up there. Then um, you get, these are the dates that I'm available and the times, list of times that I'm available here. Then um, this is my time zone. And it also says the amount of, like how long the calls last. And this one is for 60 minutes. Um, so you can click on update. So let's say I'm going to click the 6th and then I'm going to pick, let's say, 9.30 a.m. So once I clicked on 9.30 a.m., you have a confirm button right here. So I'm going to click confirm. So that takes you to a page where um, you have to put in your details, assuming you want to book a call with me. So I'm going to write here, um, let's say your name is Satoshi. <laughs> your name, let's say your name is Satoshi Nakamoto. <laughs> That's an example. And then you can say Satoshi. <laughs> Satoshi. Nakamoto.com, for example. Um, then you can say where you want the meeting to be, whether it's a video call or a physical address. I'm going to leave that blank for now. And then you can write a message. Um, I'm just going to say test. Then here is where the toggle is. I wrote recording included and you can toggle it on and it gets added to your um, your rates. So as you can see here, it changed from $1 um, to 56. So I'm going to remove it so you get to see the difference. I'm going to add it. It gets updated right here. So there's the information. Take, take this if you want the recording. So you can click on book. This will generate a um, lightning invoice. With this lightning invoice, all you need to do is just to scan this. And then once you scan this with your Bitcoin wallet, all you need to do is 
pay this number of satoshis, which is um, this is at the current rate right now. And then once you've paid for it, this this um, lightning invoice will change, and then you would have booked a call with me successfully. Pretty cool, huh? So you can see here this invoice expires in about nine minutes. So I guess let's say about ten minutes. Um, so you have that amount of time to pay the invoice. It's pretty cool. So let us go back um, to the dashboard real quick. Come right here and see what else you have. You also have integrations, you have refer a friend. So they have a ref referral program. Let's have a look at integrations first. So this shows the calendars that are connected to my Ellen Cal. Um, so currently we have my normal Google calendar and with the additional three calendars there's in there. Then you can come here to refer a friend. They have um, a really interesting referral program. So it says, um, what you get for any referred contact for six months, you get 50% of the Ellen Cal fee on any booking your contact receives. That is, if you receive, if you if your referred contact charges $100 per hour, their total dollar per hour shown at the booking page would be um, $110 per hour, which includes the $10 Ellen Cal fee indicative. Um, so in this example, you would receive the equivalent of $5 in SATs for every booking received by your contact for six months. So that's the amazing referral program that they have there. This is your referral link, and you can copy this referral link, tell people about it so that you can get a commission once um, you refer people. If you look at here, there's this little toggle here, and this shows you two modes, the light and dark modes. Currently, my Ellen Cal is set to dark mode but if i toggle this back it's this is light mode so it's pretty cool i like how it's really simple so yeah very simple to use and i think it's really intuitive so people don't have a problem um, navigating through ellen cal which is great now you have this withdraw your withdraw your sats button here so let's say for example you have several calls booked you and um, you want to withdraw your satoshi just click on this button and it will take you to where you can um, withdraw your, your Satoshis. So you can say start a new withdrawal. And then it says here, creating a withdrawal will trigger a, trigger a payment to your Lightning invoice or on-chain address. Sometimes the payout will require admin approval. If the amount is too big, it will switch to an on-chain transfer, which is OK. Um, then you just need to click on the withdraw button here. Um, you can also add your address, lightning um, invoice address here manually, and the Satoshis get sent to you directly, which is really nice. So yeah, that is about Ellen Cal. I think it's really simple to use, and I think it's quite functional, especially if you want to start earning some Bitcoin from the calls or the meetings that you host. So I think it's really good. Okay, so what's the best way of using Ellen Cal? Personally, I think the best way of using Ellen Cal is to get an Ellen Cal account. So register on Ellen Cal and then get your Ellen Cal link. So anybody who wants to book a call with you that you feel um, deserves to be paid for, you can share that Ellen Cal link with them and they can pay you in Bitcoin for your time. Um, if you are using Linktree or v a Vida page, um, you could just put your Ellen Cal link in there so people can easily book a call with you um, whenever they want to have a session with you. So I feel like another really interesting use case of Ellen Cal would be maybe someone wants to um, book some time with you for you to teach them something or coach them, maybe a one-off coaching session, for instance. Um, they are like, aside from one hour, you have other um, time spans, like two hours, three hours, four hours. Um, you can literally set those times in and it could be a really great way to start charging for coaching sessions or mentorship calls. Um, so it's really great. And then especially with the... Um, add-on feature where you can add like additional um, features or like top-ups like um, do in the example I gave where um, recording is included with the call um, that also helps create some how do I put it something like 
and then like um gives people the opportunity to upgrade um to get additional value from you inside from just um being on the call with you so that's something really cool and something worth exploring um so yeah i think ellen cal is great would you use ellen cal 